do this. Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're doing really well. I'm so excited to make this video because um, today we will be eating. Today we are in Italy. That's an English accent. Oops, <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna be eating spaghetti, meatballs, and marinara sauce. First step, I've gone ahead and made my zucchini pasta. And what I used was about six zucchinis. I peeled them and then spiralized them and made them into a pasta. And for those of you that don't know what a spiralizer is, I'll show you right here. This is a spiralizer and I used it to make my zucchini pasta. So first step done. <laughs> Next step is that we're going to make our meatballs and wait, actually not meatballs and we are going to need a food processor for that and we're also going to need a dehydrator We're gonna be using one red bell pepper, and I've already gone ahead and cut it. We're gonna use one zucchini. I have already peeled and cut into small pieces as well. We are gonna need uh, mushrooms, and mushrooms are really good because they kind of give like a meaty kind of texture to food. So we're gonna use two mushrooms, and I've gone ahead and cut up five because we're gonna use mushrooms again for our marinara sauce. So two mushrooms. Um, in our meatball sauce is also gonna be one carrot, oh, sorry, two carrots, and I've gone ahead and peeled and cut the carrots. That's for something else. And we're gonna be using three herbs in this recipe. We're gonna be using some basil and this is what basil looks like, for those of you that don't know. We will be using some thyme, and this is thyme, which I picked from my garden today, and oregano. This is oregano, and I've already gone ahead and minced that, okay? Which I also picked from my garden. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put in everything in the food processor, our zucchini, mushroom so we'll add some basil some thyme ready let's do this <laughs> it's ready mmm smells really good so I'll show you guys how to make them the not meatballs I'm gonna put everything in here what, to, what you're gonna do to, to make your meatballs and we're gonna put them on the dehydrator tray is that you are gonna like squeeze out kind of the, the juice in there, okay? So you, it's gonna get a little messy, <laughs> but it's okay, it's fun. And then you just place your not meatballs. And you want to set the dehydrator anywhere from 115 to 120 degrees. And they should take about mm, two hours to make, not long. So it won't be long. And I'm gonna take out these ones that I have right here. The ones that we're gonna be using. And I'll put in these. And a tip for uh, using a dehydrator, if you put the, um, whatever you put in the middle of the dehydrator will dehydrate faster, okay? So we just put them in there and 
ultra nail for later. I'm taking out this too. We're gonna need this for our marinara sauce. Next step is marinara sauce. And for our marinara sauce, we're gonna need tomatoes. And these are six fresh tomatoes, organic. And I've gone ahead and cut them up. They're ready to be blended. We're gonna use the rest, or not, the, not all of this, but some of our mushrooms and this is optional, how many ever you want to put in. We're gonna use a little, little, little bit of pineapple. And this is to kind of give it a sweet taste, okay? And we're gonna use the same, the same herbs as in our not meatballs, which is basil, thyme, and oregano. And these are optional as well. And we will also be using some dehydrated tomatoes, okay? And they're not fully dehydrated, they're partially dehydrated. I've been dehydrating these for about two hours on um, 120 degrees in the dehydrator. So they're not even like really dehydrated, but they will add a little more flavor to our sauce. All right, ready? All right, we're gonna put in all of our tomatoes. I'm gonna put in some mushroom, pineapple. I'm gonna go ahead and put in all of the, the rest of the herbs. Okay, now that you have it blended, uh, we're gonna put in the rest of our partially dehydrated tomatoes. And why do I put them last? Because I wanna I want my sauce to have kind of like a chunky texture. So I'm gonna just pulse it. So what you do to pulse is that you put your um, blender on like a medium to high and then you just turn it on and off. really really good okay so now we have our hearty marinara and as you can see it has like a chunky consistency it's not it's not just like smooth and the pulsing helped that okay It's ready! <gasps> this looks so good. This looks like really, 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 really good. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. 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 <gasps> Don't forget to like my video, share it with your friends and family, and try this recipe and comment below and tell me if you like it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>